Welcome to one of the most beautiful squares in Rome. We are here in Piazza del Popolo on a glorious sunny day. And I would like to invite you all to a virtual walking tour of Rome in the footsteps of Queen Christina of Sweden. The Latin inscription above the door reminds us of the happy entrance in AD 1655 of Queen Christina. Above the inscription, the symbols of the two families, the Kiji family, family of Pope Alexander VII who welcomed Christina to Rome, and the ears of wheat, symbol of the Vasa family the family of Queen Christina. She spent 30 years of her life in Rome, the city of her dreams, from 1655 to 1689, the year of her death. We're in front of Palazzo Farnese, first residence of Queen Cristina. It is here that the activities of her Accademia started. It is here that she founded her first musical chapel. First chapel master, the great Giacomo Carissimi. We're right in front of Palazzo Corsini, called Palazzo Riario at the times of Cristina. This became her permanent residence from 1663, right until her death on 19th of April 1689. This palace became the most important musical center in Rome, thanks to her. The magnificent garden beyond this green gate was Queen Cristina's private garden part of Palazzo Riario. Today, it is the home of the Botanical Gardens of Rome. This is the end of Queen Christina's story, in the crypt of the Vatican, where she is buried. She's one of the very few women to be buried here in the Vatican. Christina died in the morning of the 19th of April, 1689, in her own bedroom, in Palazzo Cursini. Her motto, which can still be read today on one of the walls, reads, I was born free. I live free. I will die liberated.